having 10 girls in the family, including myself and, and four boys, I'm definitely the only footballer. As soon as I could walk, I had a football in my hand. My dad had me at the park kicking the ball. From about the age of three to seven, I just went and watched my older brothers play. And then as soon as I hit seven, I joined his local club and played under tens with the boys and I wasn't allowed to play anymore. From that point on, I went straight into the women's league. Football has that family feel that, you know, the team environment that I love the most. And growing up, I always thought they could let a girl play AFL. You know, it was a dream. Some of my best memories in life growing up with 14 kids and, and mum and dad and how much love we had. And I think that's one of the most beautiful things is, is how precious our love was. When my dad got diagnosed with cancer, he had to move out of home because of stress. And oh, I would never go anywhere without my dad, so I didn't give my mum or my dad a choice. And I literally dropped out of school from year seven to year 10 to be his full-time carer. After he passed away, I, I sort of felt lost a lot. Like I felt really lost. Football was my favourite thing in the world. It was the only place I could go where I felt closest to my dad. A couple of years ago, my mum got a little bit unwell. She asked me to take foster care of Vinnie. Vinnie's my best friend. Her name's Lavinia, but I call her Vinnie. And she's actually my youngest sister. She has an extremely rare disability called Mebia syndrome. She's one of the biggest reasons why I smile every day of my life. It wasn't until my best friend said to me that I've had this impact on people and how I'm making a difference in people's life, giving people more confidence to be who they are or to keep pushing forward. So now I've, I've written a book on my life so far and I'm assuming people find it intriguing or interesting. People tell me all the time I have this amazing story, but I guess you'll have to read it and tell me.